Okay, so the scripture is Ephesians 5. Uh, verse 22 is, Wives, submit yourselves unto your, hus- unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of, head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loveth the church and gave himself for it, that he may sanctify and cleanse it with washing of the water and the word, that he may present it to himself as a glorious church, having no spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but it should be holy without um, without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies, so that loveth his wife, he loveth himself. For no man hateth his wife. Yeah. So in that sense, so it said wife, submit to your husband, husband, love your wife, not seek counsel from, not submit to. Right, right, right. Let me finish. But love your wife as you love yourself. Yes. You don't. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So in that sense, if you are loving your wife as Christ loved the church, Christ also died for the church. Christ also was able to rebuke his own self in the Garden of Gethsemane when he wanted to make this cup pass for him, but know that will be done. Like, so he was able to refrain, to self-control, to hold back on temptation, to love himself, to give up himself. So in that sense, and as Christ also listened to his disciples. No, you said the church. You said Christ, Christ the loved the church. Yeah. The disciples weren't part of the church. They are the church. No, they weren't. In yes, the, they in are the, in the, the church. Book, they were we not are the, the church. church. The body no, I understand church. that, but I'm saying in the story of Christ, when he when he was um, he he essentially rebelled against the church. He didn't listen to the church. That's why he was crucified. And he was crucified because he didn't obey um, Pontius Pilate. Which yeah, who, who was part of the church. It was the, the religious part of the church. Yeah, yeah the sure. church is the religion. No, the church is not. That's the problem. Church is not a religion. <laughs> religion is a religion. Church is supposed to be the people who are a part of the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. So you said, okay, so you're saying uh, Jesus submitted himself to the people. No, what I'm saying is that. Because again, just so we don't get off says, topic. Just so no, we don't get no, off no, topic. I got it. We were trying to understand. What is the biblical um, uh, portion of wives submitting to their husbands? No, husbands submitting to their wives. I wasn't trying to say there's a biblical part of wives, husbands submitting to their wives. What I am saying is that there should be a respect level to listen out to it for a final decision. Like no, there should never no, but be. What, what you were saying initially was um, so if the if the wife puts her foot down, he should be that submission. Is that not submission? If the wife puts her foot down and says, this is final, you ask the, the husband question. should be like, okay. No, you ask me the question of what am I curious about in the situation of a man saying, making a final decision. Mm-hmm. And I said, my curiosity would be, would there be the same? Would he also be willing to submit to me? Not even submit, because I don't think that submit is the right word. I think that's the problem is that the word submit is... That's what the Bible says, based on what you right. read. Right. The Bible, yeah, the scripture does say, but when you also have to translate it from that time frame to this time frame. Okay, so translate it. So, I can't translate I mean, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just saying, like, submission. But you're disagreeing sense. with the biblical definition. I'm disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing with anything. So, what I'm just, dis- well, I am disagreeing. So, what I'm saying is that when it states in the Bible that wives should be submissive to their own husbands, and at the same time, husbands should love their wives as Christ loved the church. That as Christ loved the church, he was able to give of himself. He was yeah, willing his life. to right his life. Not only that, he was willing to give of himself for the church. So yeah, when but people he wasn't, need to be But fed, he didn't listen to the church. The church listened to him. That's my only He did. Right. He listened, he listened to the people. He listened to what they said and then was able to give them God's word. I understand that, but yeah. the, the, so okay. Love your wife like Christ loved the church. Christ laid down his life for the church. A husband should absolutely lay down his life for right. his wife, right? Exactly. But and it's more submit than... to your husband, right? Mm-hmm. And 
It doesn't say anything about submit to your wife. It says love your wife. Right. I get it. So in love, but so you're saying that submission isn't a part of love? No. No, submission is not a part of love. Submission is not a part of love. I completely disagree submission with that. Is, submission is part of authority and respect. And men understand love as authority and respect. But the love to your wife is not a submissive love. Okay, so submission is an action. Mm-hmm. It's a disposition. It's a willingness. It's, a, it's, a, it's agreeableness. Okay, and that is not a part of love. It's not part of male love, no. But it's part love of female love. Love is not love. male or female. It is. It's not. Explain. Let's talk about it. Love, because love is love. Love is not. We make love. We we give love gender. Love is not. You don't come out and say, because you're a female, you only love this way. Like that's not true. No, I, I don't. I don't think. So love, there is no. There I don't, is I don't no, think love has a gender. I think. You just said male love versus female. No, male love versus female love, but I don't think it's gendered. I think it's the same way where I love my mom a different way than I love my girlfriend. I love my girlfriend a different way than Those I love are different my homeboys. Types of love. That's, that's, that's what I'm course. talking about. So the love that a man exercises towards a woman is not the same love that he's respecting to receive from a woman. And these aren't even my words. This is, um, what's his name? Miles Monroe, he talks about it. He says, men understand love through the lens of respect. It's not about flowers. It's not about laying down your life. I get it. It's not about all that stuff. So that's where the submission piece comes in. But you can't say that. You can't say that. Like, it it doesn't make, that doesn't, it's counterproductive to exactly what we're talking about. Because if it is about, if love, men take love as respect, if I respect you, there are certain things that I will and I will not do. Correct? Absolutely. Out of respect of you. Absolutely. And a part of that is honoring your voice, right? If I respect you, I'm going to honor the things that you say. And I'm going to be open to receiving what you have to say without cutting it down, shutting it down, whatever. No, no, that's not that's not the respect I'm talking about. I'm talking about respect of authority. Okay. so so. it's, it's about honoring my authority, not honoring. So it's not. So the respect based on biblical text and based on what we're talking about with men and women, it's it's a the buck stops with me. It's a you're the you're the queen to my king. You don't rule this kingdom. You're my queen. And no way, I think that's a problem. I'm not trying to rule anything. Like that's I think that is my biggest issue with this whole thing about submission. It's because for some reason it comes off to the fact that with a woman making a decision is me trying to rule something. I'm not trying to rule anything. If the decision um, goes above the man's head. Or if the decision is made without seeking his counsel, then you are trying to rule. Well, then that's, I'm, but that's, that's what you're missing is that I didn't say that. I would never, in partnership, it's not about going over anybody's head. That's no, not but the man, But that's what I'm saying. The man is supposed to be the head, right? The man is the head. Okay, so I respect what's, him in his manlyhood. What, what what's the has. woman's, give me an analogy for the woman. If the man is the head, is the woman another head? Or what is she in that metaphor? What is she? If the man is the head, we are the neck that controls or it helps to hold up the head. Okay, so... So without your neck, you are headless and you do not exist. You have perfect. no power. So the, but the neck is not the head. No, no one's... Ever, that's on. I've never said that we were. So the neck can't make decisions. The head does. The neck can direct the head, but the neck isn't the one making the decision. But the problem tends to be that... Like people don't, that. people, or women don't necessarily try to direct the decision. They try to impose a decision. And I think that's, if you think that someone is trying to impose something on you, that is your perception. That may not at all be what is actually happening. But are you willing to dialogue with that? Of course. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that's the reason that relationships fails because there is not that clear communication of what's going on. So if there, if I am in my, if I'm with someone, there is going to be dialogue. So there is no going over anybody's head. It's a decision we're making together. You can be the person that says, okay, this is what we're, this is what I'm deciding, but it's never just a me only thing. 
And if it is a me only thing, then it's going to be contextual based. So I agree with you. I agree with you. Here's the problem. The man that it is a we thing and a decision, like we come together and we both rule this kingdom. That's one guy. That's guy A, right? And the guy who is the buck stops with me, that is another guy that's guy B. The problem ends up being that most women, just big numbers, I'm not saying you necessarily, most women want guy B. They want the guy who's confident, intelligent, assertive. They want the man who walks into a room and motherfuckers know he's the alpha male. Which can also but, be man A. But they, but they want him to have the traits of man A, being agreeable, being considerate, being willing to listen, and uh, being diplomatic. Those are two different guys. I don't think they have to be. I don't. I, I agree. I don't think they have to be, you know, but in reality, they are. I I really don't think so because I think that that man that is the man B is also the man that has no respect for the woman and what she, her thoughts, her feelings, her her actions. No, he doesn't have respect for her doing his job. He has respect which for her is, doing her what job. What is his job? To, to lead. He's driving. This okay, car. so right. Okay, and that's fine. And man A is leading too. He's just leading with a different methodology to do it. So no, I agree. I think I think we need to shine more of a spotlight on guy A, but we don't. Everybody wants guy B. Everybody doesn't. I don't know. I don't know why you keep thinking that everyone wants guy B. No, I don't think any female wants a man that's like, this is the only decision. And that's it. As a black female, like, that's the way that we have seen happen in the whole past. Like, everything is male dominated. Everything has always been, well, if man says it, then that's it. In our community? I think, uh, yeah, I, I believe so. Like, for me, that's what I've seen. That's not consistent with reality, though. The black community is a matriarchy, the men are in prison. The men are in prison, you're right, and they're and so the households are being raised by women, but that doesn't mean that doesn't have anything to do with this though. No, the what what I what I mean is that our community and at the core of any community is the family structure. Right. Our families are being led by women. But you just said that every woman wants a man that's gonna say this buck stops with me, and that's not true. Most women do want that guy because that's the that's guy. That's not true. That's the guy that they feel comfortable with. That's, that's not true. true. Okay. It's not true, and I, and I say that because one, you're not a man, you're not a woman, so you can't say what women want because you have no idea what a woman wants unless you've asked a woman. Have you asked women to say if you had a choice between someone who says I have my mind? I do this for a living. I do ask questions. And so everyone has said, I would mean that's going to The vast majority. Deter. That's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Well, so, so let, wait, let's wait. dive deeper. Yeah, because that shocks me that a, a woman would want a man that's going to shut out her. No, that's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? No, what, I, what I'm saying is shut out. No, no, no. So um, maybe I need to clarify. So shut out what she's saying. No, I think you should, as a man seek a woman who's wise and intelligent in her own way, right? Because mm -hmm. she's going to be the one to raise your, your children. But um, men don't go looking for, or at least the type of men, the caliber of men you're talking about, they don't go looking for their female counter, their, their female um, other side to a coin. They look for their puzzle piece. So what does that woman look like? That woman Because it looks sounds like, like you're describing her as a very, like, docile, meek, submissive, like, I don't, you do everything. So, so okay, let me ask you that. Do you, do you feel like alpha personality types are attracted to alpha personality types? In your experience, has that been consistent? I would say, I don't know, yes. I would say yes, because... And it's sustained. Alpha personality type, alpha personality type, they get together and it sustains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me some examples. I you mean, you see Russell and Sierra. You Russell see is the, an alpha. 
He's not, not an alpha. He's not an alpha personality. Why would he? Why would you say he's not an alpha personality? An alpha personality type is somebody. Yeah. Oh, uh, like give you an example of somebody to be alpha. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, say like a LeBron James, like a future. Like future is not an alpha. No, I'm, again, we conflate our social understandings of alpha from the scientific. I'm talking scientific. I'm talking about the 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 gorilla personality type. Um, you know, those type of people do not go after gorilla females. It doesn't work. It's too men, too much ego in the room, too much uh, in the room. And even in, um, you know, Russell and uh, Sierra's situation, she's more so alpha over him. Now, this is based on just public perception. Their situation in the bedroom and in the home might be different, but um, kind of like you alluded to earlier, opposites in a sense, in a sense, attract, but compatibility sustains. And if two people are the same person, they're not compatible. They don't fit. Mm. 